friends the maneuver today we are going to create this chess see when i hover this sub items i have different background color and the text color also changes so let's have it now i'm opening an html document give title to this document as menu bar containing sub items let me save up this file first let me create a new folder let me save this file up now let me insert nav tag a new html file tag let me close this tag now let me insert a div inside it div id nav menu let me close this div and let me insert a unordered list as we are going to create a menu bar using unordered list let me close this unordered list let me have comment to be end of main ul now we will have the list item products let me have anchor tag for it as we will give a link inside it for now i am using hash later on you can give link according to your requirement now let me close this ally tag now again i am having an ordered list inside ally let me close this an ordered list as we will have sub list items inside it first let me have and comment on closing ally say end of main ally let me have comment for this uls and of inner ul now let's have again sub list item inside our inner and order list inner ul ally say link 1 closing ally let me give a link to it let me give a hyperlink to it using anchor tag again i am using hash for the same let me close this anchor tag now let me copy and paste it up several times let me have it link 2 link 3 link 4 link 5 now let's preview our page first so this is so far what we have so let's have now css for it let me open new css document let me save this css document First, let me attach this CSS file to my source code. Let me go to head section. Simply, I will give right click CSS style, attach style sheet. I am browsing my file that is mb. dot css. See now our mb. dot css is attached now to our source file. first let me have nav menu margin to be 0 pixels padding to be 0 pixel i'm using nav menu because we are 
doing everything inside id nav menu now let's have nav menu ul margin 0 pixels padding 0 pixel nav menu li for the list items again margin 0 pixels padding 0 pixel let the list style be none as I want to remove the bullets along with it let me have float to be left as I want them to be float left to each other instead in a list. Let me have position to be relative. Let's save up our document. Let's preview. See. So far what we have is we have idling items floating left to each other and got rid of that bullet image. Now let's work on anchor tag. Nav menu ul li a say I want the text align to be center font family I want this platino lino type text decoration I want this none as I want to get rid of the underline below anchor text. Height, I want this 30 pixels. Width, let be 150 pixels. Display, let be block. color let it be black for now let's save up our document let's reload so far this is what we have we have got rid of underline below them and according to width and height our menu bar is adjusted now notice in the design view as we have given text align to be center. Still it's vertically not center. So let's give a line height to our jewel item. Line height 30 pixels. So it will centralize the text vertically. Notice. Now Nav menu UL UL that is we are working an order list inside an order list that is link one link two link three inside our products let the position be absolute let the visibility be hidden as earlier I want them to be hidden and when I hover I want them to be visible top let it be 32 pixels now we want the visibility to be back when we hover so let's have it nav menu ul li hover ul this is also called as pseudo class. Now let's have visibility to be visible. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See now, when I hover products, I have my link items. Now let's provide it a background color. Let me go to nav menu 
ally. Let me have background color to be crimson. I am using standard HTML color name. You can also get the list of HTML color names from W3 schools websites. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. So now I have background color. Now let's have a border inside our menu bar. Let me go to nav menu ul lia. Let me have it border 1 pixel solid. Let the color be black. Let me save up my document. Let's reload it. See now I have border on my link items. Now as we have completed our single menu bar item products to make other ones let me copy and paste it up. And then later we will have our rest of CSS. So let me go to the source code. Let me copy this whole HTML code from main UL to end of main UL. Let me copy it or let me paste it five times. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See now we have our menu bar containing five main items. Then under their sub items. Now let's have further CSS for it. When I hover my list items, I want the background color to be changed. So let's have hash nav menu li hover. Let the background color be pale, violet, red. Again, a HTML color name. Let font red be bold. So when I hover, I will have font to be bold. Let's save up our document. Let's reload our page. See now when I hover my link items, I have color of pale wallet red which I specified. Now, I want the text color to be changed to white. So let's have it. Let me go to nav menu ul li a. From black, let me change it to White. Let me reload the page. Now I have white color over here. But when I hover sub items, I want the color to be different. Say sky blue. So let's have it. Hush. Nav. Menu. UL. Ally. Hover. Ally A hover. Let the background color be sky blue. Let the text of color to be purple. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See now, when I hover my sub items, sub link items, I have sky blue color and text changes to purple. So, this is our menu bar looks like. Now, what I have to do is, I have to clear the float property I have given. So, in the end, when my menu bar ends, let me have div. 
class to be clear float now let me define this class clear float say dot clear float let's have it clear both so for the float property we have provided initially will be clear from both the side let's save up our document now what i want to do is with our menu bars is i want to change the name of main items here i have products 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 so let's change it let's go to our source code home the first item we should have is home i don't want to have any sub links inside it so let me just remove this links then let's have about us then products fine then let's have services after products then let's have contact us let's save up our document let's reload the page so here what we have is home about us products services contact us again i don't want to have any sub items inside contact us so let me remove it file save all let me reload the page so i have got rid of it similarly you can give name to your sub link items as per your requirement so this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do subscribe to my channel have a good day